Phineas and Ferb is a show that, although it ended a long time ago, still has a lot of questions to answer, such as, why does summer seem to go on forever? What happened to Phineas' father and Ferb's mother? Or how does Doofenshmirtz know that Perry's name is Perry? And while we'll talk about these topics in the not-so-distant future, today I want to talk about a mystery perhaps not as well known as the ones I just mentioned. You see, in the Phineas and Ferb movie, Across the Second Dimension, there is a part around the 23rd minute where Phineas and Ferb discover that Perry is a secret agent. Phineas is clearly upset, and as he asks Perry if he was just using them to keep his identity safe, he asks if anyone else has a bizarre double life that he doesn't know about, to which Ferb raises his hand. Yeah. Phineas tells him to put his hand down and the movie goes on like nothing. But that got me thinking, and I'm sure it got you thinking too because that's not really mentioned again in the movie, nor in the series. Which leaves us with today's question, what then was Ferb's double life? The problem with the Ferb's double life mystery is that there are too many possibilities. Looking on the internet, I found a lot of different theories, because apparently the writers wanted to keep his life outside the show ambiguous. One of those theories, for example. And the first thing that might jump to your mind is that Ferb could be a secret agent. The theory is supported by the fact that, in the retrospective episode, in which Phineas's friends prepare a compilation of videos to celebrate his birthday, Ferb is seen leaving his house wearing an agent's hat, and even has his own little song. Also, Ferb is British, and could be in something like the MI6, which is the UK's secret intelligence service, and the organization of which James Bond is a part. The last piece of supposed evidence we have is that we know Ferb ends up dating Vanessa in the future, and that they possibly meet because Ferb is another agent and Doofenshmirtz is a villain. It's actually not a bad idea at all, and sounds like something we'd see in Phineas and Ferb. But the theory has basically no real evidence, and the clip in the flashback episode is just a tease showing Ferb sneaking over to Irving's house to continue planning Phineas's birthday. So Ferb is not a secret agent. Speaking regarding his relationship with Vanessa, another idea is that they could be secretly seeing each other or something, and this would count as a double life for Ferb, leaving aside how weird the age difference is in that situation. After all, in the teen episode Act Your Age, where we see Phineas and Ferb 10 years in the future, Ferb is dating Vanessa, and they had to stay in touch somehow, right? But while it's a nice idea on the surface, it doesn't really work. And even if they were chatting or something, it wouldn't count as a double life, for the simple fact that Vanessa was already dating someone else during the events of Phineas and Ferb. Initially, we see that Vanessa is dating Johnny, until the third season when she meets Monty Monogram, the son of Major Monogram. In the end, Vanessa ends up dating Monty behind her parents' back, and the two are a couple for the remainder of the show. Which means that in the 10 years up to the Act Your Age episode, Vanessa's relationship with Monty ended, and she started seeing Ferb. So no, in this case, a secret relationship with Vanessa is not our solution either. Ferb is a person with a lot of hidden talents, which is fuel for all the crazy theories we can imagine. In addition to his skills as an engineer and his knowledge of physics, chemistry and architecture, and among many other things, Ferb is an excellent chess player, a designer, a time traveler, an astronaut, a chef, a polyglot, and a multi-instrumental musician, playing guitar, saxophone, trombone, keyboards, maracas, bass, trumpet, bagpipes, harmonica, violin, harp, drums, and tambourine. Of all the things we see him do, there have been theories that he has a secret career as a dancer, since we see that he dances at a practically professional level, or that he was similarly a professional soccer player, since in the episode My Fair Goalie, we see that he is an exceptional soccer player, but that just before the summer, he received a curse and decided to stop playing, because that curse meant that he could not be part of a winning team for the rest of his life. However, afterwards the curse was broken, and soccer was never mentioned again. So it doesn't seem to be our answer, but the internet seems to latch on to any little thing that might seem like an answer. I even saw some theories that his double life actually refers to him having dual citizenship between the United States and England, or in an explanation that comes from a much more logical theory, that his double life is the one he has as a boy genius with Phineas, and that his real life, quote unquote, is that of a college student. I mean. Linda is convinced that Phineas and Ferb are normal kids, so to some extent that idea makes sense. And personally I think it could work, but it's kind of a boring answer, especially keeping in mind that Ferb does some things that do qualify which gives us three other different possible answers to this conundrum. 
For starters, in the episode The Beak, Phineas and Ferb take on the secret identity of a superhero and fight their own villain, even having to deal with all the problems that a double life as a superhero brings, in the best Superman style. Although, curiously, in this episode the one who has to struggle more with his double life comes to be Phineas, because Ferb is the legs, and you can't see his face. The Beak's identity is revealed towards the end of the episode, but no one pays attention to Ferb, so in theory we could say that his secret identity as the Beak's legs is still intact. In fact, this was the answer I had thought of when I started researching for this video, but as you'll note, Ferb is a little stranger than I expected. Our second option is in the episode Brain Drain, where we see that Ferb is a world champion video gamer. This implies that at some point in his life, Ferb had to train a lot in order to lead and develop a career in esports, a career that is not mentioned anywhere in the show, so this simple mention can easily qualify as a double life for Ferb. Even in the episode My Fair Goalie it is mentioned that Ferb has a blog, so maybe he is quite active on the internet in addition to video games something we don't see in the show on a regular basis. The last option is the weirdest of all. Up to this point, we've seen that Ferb's double life could refer to his life as a student, his alternate identity as the Beak's legs, or his secret career as a champion esports player in the video game world. Things that, while surprising, are within what we would expect for Phineas and Ferb. But there's one possibility that I haven't seen in the discussions, and it's what comes to mind when analyzing Ferb's amazing communication skills. You see, Ferb can not only speak English, French, Japanese, and who knows how many other languages, but he can easily communicate with dolphins and, strangest of all, Martians. Yes, one of Ferb's unexplained abilities is that he speaks Martian, curiously using vocalizations impossible for a human being, as we clearly see in the episode Unfair Science Fair Redux. Here, the implication would be that Ferb is an alien, or at the very least a modified human being. His communication skills could mean that he has a diplomatic function or to study humanity or something, but anything we say from here on out will be crazy speculation, or well, crazier, because it's a topic that is hardly ever touched on again, except in one episode. There is an episode titled Invasion of the Ferb Snatchers, in which Candace is convinced that Ferb is an alien. She finds him doing a lot of weird things that make it seem like he is, but in the end, it turns out that Candace misunderstood the situation, an end, and so Ferb was repairing the ship of a friend of Meep. But it's not directly confirmed or denied that Ferb is actually an alien. And it's definitely very curious that an entire episode is devoted to the possibility that Ferb did, after all, come from outer space. So I'll leave you with those options. I mean, maybe Ferb is just a young man so, but so smart that he can learn an alien language in just one day. Which would only make him a superhero polyglot genius with a secret career as a video game champion. Rather than a superhero polyglot genius with a secret career as a video game champion who also happens to be an alien. Or that his double life is simply his life as a high school student, and we're needlessly overanalyzing a series for kids. Whichever option suits you best, I hope you liked this video. And with nothing more to say, remember to drink water and wash your hands regularly. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!